Hello, Libra, and Merry Christmas. I just wanted to do an update for you guys. Um, <clears throat> little Merry Christmas video. If you are new here, welcome, and thank you so much for stopping by. If you are returning, thank you so much for your support. You guys, this is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it's not resonating, um, <clears throat> take what fits and leave the rest. You might also want to check out videos for your moon and rising signs, okay? Um, <clears throat> on the last video for December, we, um, the messages that were coming through were getting unstuck. The Wheel of Fortune is wanting to bring in a forever love for you, Libra. So I want to just see what's happening. And I will be doing your January videos in the next week. So hopefully I'll have those out um, the first week of January or maybe even a little before. So let's look at the overall guidance for you. Um, okay, emotions are running high and don't let the past hold you back. So I want to see how these fit in with the reading. If you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so by going to my website, awakenwithnancy.com, and you can just book online. You guys, I do have special pricing through the end of the year, An hour reading is $80, so if you want a private reading, you get a little bit of savings until the end of the year. And I just want to get going on this and wish everybody a very, very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. Um, so in the present position, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. That came through for Leo as well. And that is a new beginning. So that is just lovely. I like seeing that. And you guys, I will clarify everything with another deck and then we will conclude with um, some guidance from the wisdom of the oracle, uh, oracle cards. Yeah. So what's challenging you right now, Libra, is the Nine of Cups. This is satisfaction and wish fulfillment. I am thinking that this new beginning is going to bring in that satisfaction for you. Now, in the past, we've got the Three of Pentacles. This is about collaboration and teamwork and, you know, just building, building on something. In the future, we've got Strength. This is a major arcana. This is about having courage and strength. It's about inner strength to go for this new beginning. And the cards are not wanting to come out right now. <laughs> if you, okay, here we go. All right. So in your conscious mind, we've got the lovers. This could be a Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. Um, this is a choice in love, okay? Um, some of you were very stuck on a past relationship, I believe, the last time. And this is about, you know, making like a head over heart decision. This is a major arcana. So it could be a karmic relationship, soulmate, something like that. Very difficult for you to make a decision on this. And perhaps some of you are still stuck very much on your conscious mind. Now in your subconscious, we've got the devil, another major arcana. So we're seeing three out of six cards are major arcana. This is about obsession, it's about fears, it's about um, stagnation. Just, you know, staying, staying in stagnation and not making a decision. And what I feel is happening is you are not wanting to let go of the past. Libra, okay? For whatever reason, we're gonna clarify and get some more information in a few minutes. <clears throat> In your personal influence, we've got the Ten of Swords. This is a really painful ending. But the beautiful thing is 
in the present, we've got a new beginning with that Ace of Pentacles. After an ending comes a new beginning. So things are looking up. I know the Wheel of Fortune has been on your side. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I can't even... Oh, nothing surprises me anymore. Okay, we've got another 10. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. What was I just saying? The Wheel of Fortune is on your side. This is in your external influences. So the wheel is still trying to help you, you guys. The wheel wants to bring in this soulmate, wants to bring in this new beginning. This is about destined, <clears throat> excuse me, destined opportunities. And it's interesting because the wheel is coming on top of the 10 of swords. And the wheel is also a 10. So let's yeah okay in your hopes and fears we've got the tower this is about divine intervention and you know something similar just came through for i think it was virgo and it's like you know you guys you've got to make a decision or the wheel will make it for you uh the tower will bring in this divine intervention and this is upheaval so in the outcome, we've got the Three of Cups. This is joy. This is enjoying life, community, friends, family. Just, it's a very joyous, very celebratory energy. So that is beautiful. Now, at the bottom of the deck, let's see what we've got. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we've got the Queen of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Death card, Scorpio um transformation uh what i'm feeling like is the wheel of fortune the universe is wanting you to transform it's wanting you to uh let go of this past hurt this disappointment these old wounds it's the the universe is wanting you to heal this go through a transformation let this go cut it out with this sweet queen of swords energy so that you can get to this new beginning all right this is some interesting energy you guys we do have two threes here and we have two tens and a decision in love and we've got one two three for five of the ten cards are major arcana. So something very intense, very transformative is, is happening. Please clarify this Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a lot of clarifiers. Well, I, I'm, I'm just going to take them all, you guys, because, yeah. Okay. The Ace of Pentacles, present position. We're clarifying that with the devil, okay? This is a repeating message, you guys, okay? This is in your subconscious. This is clarifying this new beginning. This is being chained and bound to something. It's not wanting to make this choice, this choice in love. It's being in a fearful energy, okay? Um, being in stagnation. And further clarifying, we've got this Five of Cups, and we just saw that at the bottom of the deck. That is remaining stuck in the past. So it's coming out right next to the devil. This is keeping you stuck, you guys. And we've got the Four of Cups, Four and Five of Cups. This is, you know, not seeing what's in front of you. And what I'm feeling is that's this new beginning. It's like you're not acknowledging it, okay? Um, but further clarifying, you guys, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, which is an offer, and we've got this new beginning. This could be an earth sign for you. So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. It does not have to be, but it is an offer coming in for you, and it's really slow coming. So I feel like this new beginning is really, really slow for you, but 
further clarifying, we've got the King of Cups. This could be a water sign. This could be um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And uh, we did see the Death card coming through. So that is the Scorpio card. Final clarification is the Two of Cups. So when I see, um, you know, the the Ace of Cups, I'm sorry, the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, this is an earthly energy. Then we've got the King of Cups and the Two of Cups. This is a very emotional energy. The King of Cups is about emotional mastery. And I'm feeling that it is somehow associated with this devil energy that's coming through twice, okay? And it's like you're needing to <clears throat> master your emotions, make this choice after this painful ending so that you can bring in this beautiful soulmate partnership. That is what I'm feeling. It could be with a king of cups. It could be with a knight of pentacles. It just is going to depend on your situation. But the king of cups, you know, is very genuine, very compassionate, very kind, very loving. The knight of pentacles is also very genuine, very earthy, um, very stable. He is a knight. Um, he is not a king, but you guys, this is beautiful. You just need to let go of some of this fear. And, you know, with the strength card coming in the future, I feel that you will. You'll have, you'll, you'll gain the courage to step out of that comfort zone, make this decision and get unstuck. <clears throat> okay, the nine of cups, which is challenging you. This is satisfaction and wish fulfillment. Well, it's challenging you because you've been in a battle, a mental battle, not wanting to make this decision, this head over heart decision. It's also being in battle with other people. And I see that with this 10 of swords, you know, in your personal influence. So you, you know, you've been in conflict with people. And so you're just not, your wish fulfillment is just not coming in. And you know, you need to make this decision and where it's going to lead is to the six of wands. This is victory. This is success. This is beautiful. So it's just a matter of making this decision. Let's clarify this three of pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> Clarifying the three of pentacles. Um, so you guys, uh, We've got the Three of Pentacles. This is about teamwork and collaboration, okay? Working together to bring in this new beginning, this wish fulfillment, this satisfaction. And we're clarifying by the Three of Cups, with the Three of Cups, and that's in your outcome position. This is the past. And we do have the Ten of Wands here as well. So I hate to say it, um, you are making a choice in love with the lovers and we did have a painful ending here. So we're seeing three tens now, 10 of wands, 10 of swords. This could have been a third party situation for you. Um, just because we've got these two threes uh, along with this 10 of wands. This is like being overburdened, being exhausted. It's like you're almost to the end of a cycle. But, you know, you just, <laughs> you're not even believing that you can get there. Um, so this is you like laying down those burdens, getting unstuck. Now, the final clarifier is the star. This is gorgeous. Um, this could be an Aquarius for you. It doesn't have to be. But this is hope, healing, and wish fulfillment. This is deep, deep spiritual healing, which I feel is necessary with this devil energy coming through and also the queen of swords and we've seen the five of cups twice so you're very grief stricken you're very sad about the past but this is hope that you know this new soulmate is coming in for you the wheel it wants to bring it in this is just a continuation from last time you guys let's clarify the strength card for Libra. 
Yeah. Ooh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. Clarifying the strength card, we've got the eight of pentacles and the ten of cups, you guys. So this is about you having the courage to make this head over heart decision, move forward. It's about having strength, inner strength, to do the work necessary to get those 10 of cups. And this is coming to you in the future. I told you guys, I told you this last time, this is total emotional fulfillment. The wheel of fortune is still on your side, you guys. Let's clarify this lovers. Oh my gosh. All right, Libra. <laughs> oh, the hammer is coming down, I'll tell you. Um, okay, clarifying the lovers. We've got the tower and we've got the four of swords. The tower is in your hopes and fears. It's coming, it's also in your conscious mind. This is about upheaval, how making this decision is going to affect your life. And, you know, emotions are running high. Um, we've also got the Four of Swords. This is resting. This is resting your mind. This is meditating and this is healing. We've seen two healing cards come through. There's a lot of upheaval that you're going through, but you know what? There's a door being closed and it needs to be closed. Otherwise, the tower wouldn't be coming in twice, you guys. Okay? So, something, a door has got to be closed. This decision has got to be made. Just trust. Please clarify this devil. Please clarify this devil. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, wow. Wow. This is pretty crazy. So the devil in your subconscious, this is about being obsessed. This is about um, being in fear and being stagnant, mostly being stagnant, not making this decision that's in your conscious mind. And you guys, we've got three pages here. We've got the page of pentacles, the page of swords, and the page of wands this is mental physical spiritual okay um wow uh this is you know the pages are messengers they're also like new beginnings it's like an initiation okay of sorts so this is you really really wanting to move forward is what i'm feeling you're really really wanting to move past um, this stagnation and this is telling me that you are going to get there all right you've got you're excited you're curious you are planning you are thinking so you are you're gonna do it libra it's just a matter of time let's clarify this ten of swords <clears throat> Okay, painful ending, and it could have been with a king of pentacles, an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Could You could be in a relationship with them right now. Um, further clarifying, we've got the two of wands. This is about, you know, this is another decision. It's like, which way do I go? Do I stay in the past? Do I go in the future? you know, move toward my future. Which path do I take? This is about a decision. Which way do you go? Do you move away from this King of Pentacles? Or, you know, or do you, do you stay stuck here? And I'm feeling like you're going to move away. Um, for some of you, this could also be you 
you know, really moving into more stability and abundance after this ending, okay? After you make this decision to go on a new path that's gonna lead you to this abundance and stability and commitment. There is this, I, re, I believe I remember from last time that um, there was a very genuine soulmate wanting to come in for you, but you were kind of stuck. So uh, this, I believe, is a continuation of that message. Now let's see what the Wheel of Fortune Uh, repeating message. Okay. So this is your external influences. Um, this, uh, this is clarified by the 10 of swords. And we saw that down below in your personal influence. This is the painful ending. The wheel wants this to be over and done with. Um, you know, the tower is coming in twice. It's like, let it go. Let it end. Close the door, Libra. Close the freaking door. Um, clarified also by the Four of Pentacles. This is about hanging on. It is a scarcity mindset. It's a stagnant energy, all right? The Wheel of Fortune wants to sweep this away and bring in this Nine of Pentacles and this Six of Pentacles. This is beautiful energy. This is wish fulfillment. This is you being very independent, having everything that you want. The Six of Pentacles is about balance and reciprocity, equal give and take. That is what you're wanting. And it could be with this King of Pentacles. There are so many Pentacles in this reading, you guys. But this is what the wheel wants to bring in. This is what the wheel wants to take out, okay? Let's see what the tower has to say. Please clarify this tower for Libra. Oh, we've got the Strength card again and the Hermit. Two major arcana, clarifying a major arcana. So this is in your hopes and fears. This is the divine intervention that you're wanting because you are at a, you know, at this head over heart decision and you're feeling a little stagnant, a little stuck. The Strength card is coming in again. This is about, you know, giving you the courage to move forward. And with the Hermit, um, this could be a Virgo, could be a Leo here, but um, this is really about you going within, doing that soul searching about this decision that you need to make in love. And it's acknowledging that what is meant to be will be. And, you know, holding on for dear life is not going to, um, is not going to make it stay if it's not meant to be. It's having the strength to let go. Please clarify this Three of Cups for Libra, please. Okay, um, so we've got the Five of Wands and we've got the Ten of Pentacles. So what I'm feeling from this is there was a lot of conflict and outside influences in your relationship. This Ten of Pentacles um, does represent a significant committed relationship, possibly a marriage. So what I'm feeling is there were outside influences that um, were not good because, you know, in the past we've got this 10 of wands, this three of cups and this three of pentacles. And I'm just feeling like, yeah, 
there were some third party situations going on. I know that I hate saying that because it does come up quite a lot, but when, you know, when I see the five of wands next to the 10 of pentacles um, with all these other surrounding cards, it is an indication. Now, another message that is coming through is you are going to overcome this conflict when you make this decision. And then that is going to lead to celebration and happily ever after, possibly with this King of Pentacles. Now, the wheel does want to bring in reciprocity for you. We saw that Six of Pentacles. So this could be your future, joy, celebration, and happily ever after. But it's about, you know, cutting this out, Libra. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords. So this is the energy for the clarifying deck. Yeah, this is what you're needing to leave behind. I want to get some final guidance for you. Treasure Island. Oh, I like it. That's a beautiful card. Um, you guys, this is gorgeous. This is about finding hidden treasures. I want to read this to you, okay? Um, number nine. The law of attraction bringing dreams into fruition. The law of attraction. Yeah, the wheel of fortune. The results of positive thinking made manifest. Abundance appearing as if from nowhere. Financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. You've worked hard and acted upon your unwavering belief in abundance. And suddenly in the midst of it all, you hit the jackpot. You have uncovered the map to buried treasure and tapped the unlimited potential within you. What you must hone now is your ability to recognize when X marks the spot, because some of these golden opportunities may be obvious, but others may not be so readily apparent. Trust your intuition to light your way now as you enter this truly prosperous phase, where all the long hard work navigating your inner life is now paying off externally. In all aspects of your life, at this time, you have good fortune. Don't forget to enjoy it. That's that three of cups and share it with others as treasures shared multiplies like magic. Oh, that is beautiful. All right. So Libra, I hope you resonated with this. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I am wishing you happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Bye-bye.